Please welcome this week's special guest, Jake. <laughs> So, uh, Oti, what is Jake to you? Uh, this is Jake, and on the German version of Strictly, um, I knocked his tooth out with a high kick. <laughs> so, Oti's damaged dancer. James, how do you know Jake? This is Jake. When he split up with his girlfriend, everyone blamed me instead of him. <laughs> right, James's breakup buddy. And finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Jake? This is Jake. I once knocked him into a grave with a frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> So there we have it. Um, Oti's damaged dancer, James's mm. breakup buddy, or Lee's frisbeed friend. David's team, where to begin? Okay, so why were you on German Strictly? Okay. Oh, so I live in Germany, and that's where the UK version found me. And J Jake was your. He was the celebrity. What does he do? He's a weatherman. He's a weatherman. Wetterman. <laughs> wow. So he what is he? He's a German weatherman. <laughs> but he's very talented because he's a weatherman. I mean, this is, this is difficult to do. Well, and he's it... also, he can dance. I have a lot of admiration for the weatherman and weatherwomen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's because all you're doing is showing people to tables. It probably looks really skillful. <laughs> How good a dancer was he? Because on Strictly, you, you often have people that aren't very good. We made it up to week nine. Oh, that's not bad. No, yeah. in German, that's zero, so it means no, week zero. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Nine, nine means no. It's close no. enough, Rob. It's close nine, enough as a joke. Nine does not mean zero. It means we no. Okay, no, just it let it go. No, because the joke doesn't work. Well, I think you'll find that all us lot disagree. <laughs> so what happened? You said you 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 hit him. Yes. Yeah, so this was during a live show, right? And the worst part is that was the end of the number. So you have to go there and stand by the judges. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so the Gap worst part is he knocked his tooth out. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got dancer mentality, and the worst thing is we got judged terribly. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get through to the next week? Uh, yeah, it's Germany. They vote. Germany have got a terrible history for voting for the wrong person, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that an ooh? Surely you would agree with that. Yeah. Why is that contentious? Is that a room splitter? Yeah. Oh, no, we like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just okay. contemplating the rise of fascism. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, James? James, what's the scenario? This is Jake, and when he split with his girlfriend, everyone blamed me instead of him. Why? Because I had to deliver the news. What do you mean? I had to... We, we wrote a letter together. We were, like, 15, and it was Jake's first girlfriend, oh. and he hadn't got experience of how to break up with people. And, to be fair, not even less. <laughs> and we decided, he's like, I've got to break up with her, and I don't know how to do it. Why has he got to break up with her? They weren't really clicking, they didn't have much chemistry. Right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Did you write it together? Yeah, we wrote it together in a field. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you remember that letter at all? It was... I remember it started off with, uh, Dear Yvonne, this is the hardest letter I've ever had to write. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you in a field? We went for... We, we liked to go for a lot of walks, me and Jack. Uh, I can see what's happening in here. <laughs> 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 I'm the only one that knows what's yeah. happening here. <laughs> Why didn't he write it on his own? Why you? Cos I think he was worried he would say the wrong thing, and uh, so we tried to, like... So he wanted to make sure? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> maybe we can work on it together, and we okay. sat down in the field and we wrote this letter. And can you remember more of the text? I think... I know that it didn't really drop the bombshell until a little bit in, cos I remember when I gave it to her, to begin with, she was very excited to receive a letter from Jake. Oh. And then she was going through... Did you stand there while she was reading the letter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stood there? Well, I stood there. So she was in my form. Yeah. So I had to go over to her table and go, oh, this is from Jake. Oh. And she was like, oh, Jake's given me a letter. And then all the girls on the table oh. were like, yes! Oh. Oh. It was a Why did you give it to her in front of other That's people? Awful. I was 15 years old. You're a grown man. <laughs> Did she look at you, like, did she blame it on you straight away? Yeah, as soon as they all got to that bit, they all looked at me and were like, ah, oh, and were really furious with me and really angry. Right. 
Yeah. I see. And Jake was, yeah, I mean, Jake's a wild boy. They kind of expected it from him. <laughs> Saying wild. <laughs> what exactly do you mean? He went through a phase when he used to jump in the school long jump pit naked. <laughs> he played uh, Mr. Hyde in a play and licked a girl's face. <laughs> I was in a band with him. Really? Yeah, he was a keyboard player, but he couldn't play keyboard, so he turned it all the way down. Then we chucked him out the band and he smashed his keyboard up in the woods. <laughs> He's a wild man. <laughs> All right. Now, what about uh, Lee? So, Lee, what's <laughs> yeah. this uh, grave frisbee Just re remind us, Lee. Uh, this is Jake, and I once knocked him into a grave with a frisbee. So, <laughs> how did that happen? Well, um, there was a frisbee, and it hit him, and he fell in the grave. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and okay. What more do you need to know, David? What, were you in a cemetery? Was I, I was just on the, on the edge of a cemetery. <laughs> I was on the other side of a wall of a cemetery. Mm -hmm. And so, what were you playing with a friend? Kids, I was, or... Yeah, I find frisbee on my own quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of this is Jay, and I once hit him with a boomerang, and he fell into a grave. <laughs> <laughs> so, who were you playing frisbee with? Uh, with my son. And how high was the wall of this symmetry? Uh, it was about. Oh, it's quite low. It's about three foot, four foot. It's a very, very low wall. In French? Uh, no, it was in, in the countryside in England. <laughs> No, because three foot, four foot is what in French? I don't know. Uh, it is the uh, four foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, it's four foot. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing in the cemetery? What was he doing? Yeah. He was actually the grave digger. Look at his face, of course I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I say grave digger, I mean body snatcher. <laughs> right. <laughs> why, were you, uh, why were you there? Were you on holiday? I just was having a day out to some church my wife wanted to see. So my wife and my son and me, uh, we went off. We went off to the... Uh, we went off to a field, had a look at a church. My wife loves the church, so she had a look at the church. Me and my son don't, are not interested in church. Are you all right, there? <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, me and you... We always take a frisbee, cos everywhere she goes and looks at... We're not, you know, we're often on Oxford Street when she's shopping. <laughs> So how did she find out about that particular church? <laughs> she went on Google when she was looking about slugs. <laughs> <laughs> so how did he fall in the grave? Because he was looking at his hole. The hole he just dug, and uh... he obviously just finished. He's very proud. It's a six-foot hole. It takes a long time to dig a six-foot hole. Trust me, I know. I've buried a few. <laughs> And he's looking down, thinking, that's... I finally finished. And, but as luck would have it, my son missed it, went over his head, hit him on the back of the knee, and he's gone straight in. <laughs> OK. How did you know he fell into the grave? How do I know he fell in the grave? Cos there was a fella stood there and then he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we need an answer. So, David's team, is Jake Oti's damaged dancer, James's break-up buddy or Lee's frisbeed friend? I don't buy the, uh, the dancing, but okay. I think James's story is very plausible, and they look alike anyway. That's not a rule. They're not <laughs> claiming to be brothers, <laughs> they're claiming to be friends. Well, you have to have a reason. That's my reason. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking, Danny? James. I really believe this story. Yeah. David. Yeah, I think probably James. Oh, OK. There's no doubt within your team, David. There's no doubt. We think we know, and which is absurd, because, of course, we don't. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jake, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Jake, and James helped me break up with my girlfriend. <laughs> yes, Jake is James's breakup buddy. Thank you very much, Jake.